Hey, hello guys, this is Karthik from executeautomation.com and this is Appium with Java video series. So this is yet another playlist in Execute Automation channel to talk exclusively about Appium. We have already discussed about understanding Appium video series in our Execute Automation channel which talks about the theory of Appium by explaining how Appium works internally and what Appium is and how to install Appium in Windows iOS operating systems and also we discussed about the Appium inspectors Android UI automator etc so that's going to be a foundation playlist for all the videos series which we are going to discuss in Appium like Appium with Java Appium with C sharp Appium in iOS etc so we have already discussed about Appium in greater detail in understanding Appium playlist of Execute Automation channel. So this video series is exclusively for Appium with Java. So we are going to write the code in Java for Appium. So this is going to be a part one of our Appium with Java video series. So in this part we are going to talk about setting stage ready for Appium in Eclipse. So before watching this part, I would request you to watch Understanding Appium video series of our Execute Automation channel since that playlist is going to be a foundational playlist for all the videos which we are going to discuss in this video series. Alright, so let's not waste our time and get started with Appium. Downloading Appium and related JAR files. So before actually downloading and installing the Appium, we already discussed in part 5 of understanding Appium video series playlist, we need to download the following jar files to start writing the code in Eclipse. And those are Selenium server and client API jar files, which you can download from seleniumhq.org website. And then we need the Appium Java client. And this jar file is responsible for performing all the operations that you are looking for and this is the Appium Java client and then we require JSON well JSON is a Java library that can be used to convert the Java object into their JSON representation it can also be used to convert a JSON string into an equivalent Java object so we have already discussed about this already in part 5 of our understanding Appium video series so you can always go back and watch that video and then finally we require test ng to be installed in our Eclipse as well because all the tests we're going to write are going to run in test ng project right again Understanding TestNG and what TestNG is and how to work with TestNG, we have exclusive video series on Selenium Automation Framework Design and Development playlist of Execute Automation channel. So you can always go back and look at understanding TestNG in greater detail in that video series. All right. So as said, so before referencing them in Eclipse, we need to first download these jar files and then we're going to create a TestNG class file. So let's not waste our time and open the Chrome for downloading all these related jar files. So for that first I'm going to download the Selenium. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to seleniumhq.org website and then let's go to the download tab and we can download the Selenium jar files for Java. So this is the language binding for Java. I'm just going to download this. And then I'm going to download the Selenium standalone server for writing our code. So these two jar files we require. And then I'm going to go to the google.com and I'm going to search for Appium Java client. Right. So it just going to take me to this particular link. So I'm going to go here and then we can download the jar from the Maven. So this guy will have the latest version of jar file for our Appium. So I'm going to download that one as well. All right, as you can see here, it brings me up to this particular page and then we can download the Java doc.jar and also the source.jar. So we require these two jar files for our coding purpose. So I'm going to keep them and also I'm going to download this jar file. All right, so I'm going to download all these 
three stuffs and then we finally need the JSON jar file so I'm going to search for this JSON jar and I'm going to go here and then I'm going to download this JSON 2.3.1 the latest version of the JSON jar file and I'm going to download this as well all right great and then finally we require test ng dot test ng jar file again test ng is something which you can install as a plugin in our Eclipse so for that you can just copy this URL and paste that in your install softwares of Eclipse and then you can download this jar file as well so I'm going to open the Eclipse right now alright so this is my Eclipse and then I'm just going to open that in the meantime I will create a folder in my computer and I'm going to call this as libs so here I'm going to hold all my jar files which are I have downloaded right now so I'm going to copy paste all the downloaded jar files alright I've just copied all the downloaded jar files in this particular libs folder and then I'm going to reference all of them into my Eclipse so the next thing I'm going to do is to install the test ng for that just go to help and go to install new softwares option and then here you can just copy paste the URL which is right in here so just copy this code this URL and paste it right here so this will bring you up the test ng option so you can just select this and hit next so this will install the test ng into your machine right so right now we're just calculating the requirement and dependencies so once it is calculated it will then start to install the test ng into your machine and you are ready to go after restarting your eclipse so that's it guys so this is how you can just install the test ng into your eclipse and then as you can see here I have already installed the test ng into my machine I'm not going to perform the same operation so I'm going to just close this so then I'm going to create a Java project for my coding purpose so I'm going to just hit new Java project and then let's give as simple Appium test that's it hit next and then here for the jar files I'm going to click the libraries tab and then I'm going to hit the add external jars and also I'm going to look for my lips folder and then I can add all of them but let's add one by one so I'm going to add the selenium server the Java client the JSON into my libraries and then I also need to add the selenium client so first the selenium client yep it's here so I'm gonna add that and then we need to add the source for all of them so hit edit and in the external location select the source all right hit finish so that's it you are all ready to go starting to write the code into your Eclipse project so this is what is referencing your jar file into your Eclipse project and then just right click the source folder go to new and select the others and search for test ng and you can see that there is a test ng class file so this way you can create a test ng class file again understanding more about test ng you require to go to selenium automation framework and design and development playlist of our execute automation channel where you can find how to work with test ng in greater detail but i will just give you a little tips about the test ng so again test ng is a framework for writing the test codes in your java and this is a thin layer on the top of your java 
where you can write and run your test codes using Java and it has uh, no main method it works everything with the annotations as you can see here it has a test annotation which you should give to run your test method right and it has some other annotations as you can see it has before test before suite after test after suite after class before class all those things right so we're going to use some of them in this video series so I'm going to select the source folder again the source folder is going to be my test project uh, so just navigate to the source folder so this is my source folder I'm going to select this guy and uh, my package name is going to be uh, com dot example right and then my class name is going to be first appium test all right super and then I'm not going to select any of them right now I'm just going to hit finish so this will create a simple class file for me which is nothing but a testng uh, class file and uh, there is no main method as I already told uh, this has a at test attribute for your test method so it has just created a template for me uh, stating this is how your method should look like and you can change this method name to any name you want uh, so I'm going to use uh, uh, let's say simple test method that's it so after this you can see this reference library you can see all the reference library which we require to run our test right great that's it guys this is what is downloading the required jar files into your machine setting your Eclipse ready for writing code in Appium thank you very much for watching this video and have a great day